Next, we're headed to Pennsylvania to visit one of the world's largest home layouts. See how many of the 1,800 cars you can count as they weave through the Allegheny Mountains. When it comes to model railroading, does size matter? It does if you want to run a truly operational, prototypical layout. Ken McCory's HO scale layout has been called the world's largest home layout, and that was back in 1998, before he added yet another 700 square feet to it. The additional space allowed him to model the Harrisburg Terminal at the southern end of the Buffalo Line. Although it was always a multi-level railroad, with the main grade from the upper to lower level running over the Allegheny Mountains, the grade is now much longer. The old summit was 64 inches high, and the new one is over 75 inches high. This monumental layout is the result of years of work and experimentation. Ken used to build layout after layout, only to tear them down after just a few years, or even a few months, because he got bored. But when he met Charlie Karangi in 1978, all that changed. I heard about operations on other railroads, uh, but never got to visit. And Charlie had an open house in 1978. And I visited his railroad. And uh, during the open house, got invited back for operations. And uh, it really changed my outlook on the hobby. With operations, it was more of a builder railroad for a purpose and operate it for a longer period of time. Uh, it's cheaper. You don't have to go through building materials. Uh, and also learning history uh, of the area you're modeling, the era. Uh, vehicles, buildings, signs, rolling stock. Ken's favorite steam engine, the Pensy I-1, led him to model the Central Region Northern Division in Central Pennsylvania. I modeled the Pennsylvania Railroad from about 1981 till 1994. And after painting Brunswick green, which is a fairly boring color, uh, did a couple Conrail units for a friend of mine and really liked the bright blue. And we also realized that I knew a lot more about the operations of Conrail on the Buffalo line than I did the Pennsylvania Railroad. So I decided to make a switch to the Conrail era, which is the uh, 1979 to 1982 era. This layout wouldn't look like central Pennsylvania without a steel mill. And Ken made sure he did this one upright. It's about three feet wide and 120 feet long, taking up 300 square feet. My favorite spot of the railroad is probably the steel mill. The number of hours I put in a scratch building to do blast furnaces it has the heavy industrial look of central Pennsylvania, and I think it succeeded. This successful layout boasts over 230 locomotives and 1,800 cars. Ken had to count them for insurance purposes and to keep track of his numbering system. He has no idea how many turnouts are on the layout. Everything is housed on the second floor of this barn, which was built specifically for the huge train room. Initial construction of the railroad, we did a lot of work at night. And there were usually six to eight cars parked outside. Uh, the upper floor of the barn has no windows, so there's no lights. That night, we were doing some uh, track painting. So I had opened a door at the back of the barn to allow some fresh air in. Uh, the police drove by and saw this light where they hadn't seen a light before. And they also had been curious as to what was going on in the barn. They had this big, this large building. Uh, they had a number of cars parked outside at night with no people around. Uh, so that evening, the local chief of police stopped by and knocked on the door. One of the crew members was downstairs. And he came up and found out what was up here. And now he and a number of the other people in the local police force actually come to our open houses in November. Ken not only credits his friends for helping him build his layout, but also for creating the scenery. There are about 16,000 trees here, another component that was critical to making the layout look like central Pennsylvania. Operating the layout is also a friendly affair. Ken gets about 25 friends together about once a month for a full operating session. Ken says there's enough on this railroad to keep him interested now, 
and seeing everything this layout has to offer, that's no surprise.